my channel. My name is Marie Kian, and today I'm joined with my fiance. And we just got back from the first record store day drop, which was really fun, really exciting. Uh, we've been out since like 2.30 this morning. We got up and uh, left like before 3 and got to the record store uh, between 3.30 and 4. We ended up stopping for coffee first because coffee is a must. Um, but yeah, I'm going to kind of walk you guys through what we got. Uh, Jared's going to show you guys some stuff that he got. He also collects records for those of you who don't know. Um, I feel like if you've been on my channel, you probably know that. But anyway, we're going to talk about what we got today. And also, we're wearing Dylan's shirts over at the Record Spinner. If you guys have not checked out his shirts, I will leave them linked below. Uh, he also has some really cool stickers and buttons, tote bags, masks. Um, mugs, just a ton of awesome stuff, so go check it out, link is below. Anyway, we're going to kind of get into this. So the first store we went to was my favorite local record store, Mellow Mats. We go here all the time. Uh, like I said, we got there between 3.30 and 4, and we were the 6th and 7th yeah. people in line. The first 20 people actually got a mask, and this one is like an example of it. Jared has one that's black and it has the same design in green. Um, and then the back actually has like a little cassette print. He sells these at his shop but he made these special for the drop days and only the first 20 people got them which is really cool. Um, so that was really awesome to get. And when we went in the first time, so we went in twice, he was only allowing people to look at the record store day stuff because there was such a long line. So basically you could look at the record store day stuff, get your stuff, go out, and once the line diminished you could go in and look at all the new and used stock which you get like 10% off of because um, you know they always have a good sale during record store day. And so we actually went in and got our stuff and then we went out and got donuts at this local uh, like pop-up shop. They come to different places and do donuts on the weekends, and we had never tried them before, so we got to try those today, and they were really good. Um, and then we went in again and shopped a little bit more because Jared had some stuff on hold, and we just wanted to shop. So since we were one of the first ones in, we did get the Record Store Day bag, which um, is the Metallica bag, and it actually does have the April 18th date for Record Store Day on here. I didn't know that we were getting these still. And uh, we got a few things inside the bag. Jared, do you want to start? Came with an international CD and uh, the always present uh, Record Store Day CD, along with two buttons. One's a Record Store Day button. And yeah, Brandy Carlisle. And Brandy Carlisle button. We've gotten about two or three of these Record Store Day picks. Mm -hmm. There's also this little bookmark thing in here. And then we got the poster as well, which is really cool. I got the Pink Floyd Arnold Lane 7 inch. Uh, it's recorded live at the. Uh, Barbican? Barbican? I don't know. Barbican? Barbican? I don't know. Barbican? Barbican Center in London uh, at the Sid um, Barrett Tribute Concert in 2007. And then I picked up one 7 inch. This one was kind of on a whim because uh, Elliot Cruz, if you're not familiar with his channel, I will leave it linked below. But back when John Prine passed away earlier this year, he had mentioned him and I've kind of listened to some of his stuff but I'm still not really an aficionado. And um, this is John Prine and Kelsey Walden, the Kentucky Sessions. And um, it has Kentucky Means Paradise and the song Paradise. And I, he had another release as well. And it was like a box set. And this was like pretty cheap. So I didn't mind paying for this one. Um, I don't know how much the box set was. I really didn't look at the price of the box set. Because I knew I probably wouldn't want to pay that much for it since I don't know a whole lot by John Prime. I kind of looked up stuff on YouTube and whatever um, 
but this is the album art. It does have Kentucky here, which I am from Kentucky, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then this is the back here. And this does say it's on white vinyl, so that is what it looks like there. Pretty white vinyl. Nice thing I picked up was Gary Clark Jr. Uh, Pearl Cadillac. Side A is the radio version, and side B is the extended version. And if you like Gary Clark Jr., you know he likes to jam out. And not really too particular on making his songs short. I'm interested in hearing this. I don't think I, I've never looked it up. This will be the first time I hear it on well, at all. So. And the next one I got, this was one of my top picks that I said if I didn't get I was going to cry. Uh, it is Elton John's self-titled album, Elton John. I'm pretty sure we all know this album. This is known for your song. Um, of course there are other notable songs on here as well. But they basically... Um, this is the 2016 remastered edition and they did a bonus LP because it's originally a single LP and they made it into a double LP and did some demos and uh, some unreleased recordings stuff like that uh, demos bonus tracks whatever you want to call them on the second LP which I have an original US press of this Elton John album uh, I love it. I love Elton John. I'm a huge Elton John fan. And I was really excited because I wanted to see the difference in the original and the reissue. So this has this same gatefold as the original. Um, it's just got the songs and the lyrics in here. Um, like I said, this one is known for uh, your song. You have Take Me to the Pilot, um, 60 Years On, Border Song, The King Must Die. You have a great, great track list on here. This one also come on colored vinyl. And if you guys know me, you know I'm a huge fan of the color purple. And this is on like a deep uh, translucent purple. It's kind of showing up a little red on camera, but it's like a deep, dark kind of purple color. Super gorgeous. And uh, I've actually not heard the bonus tracks that are on this album. I know that this is like... A CD come out I think in like 2016 with all of the bonus stuff on it but I just I don't really collect a lot of CDs so I've not heard them and I'm looking forward to giving it a listen. The next thing I picked up was Dio Annika the picture disc it is uh, on the A side is Annika Lord of the Last Days in Studio and live and then the B side is a Magicka story, can word epic. And then the last thing I got that's RSD related um, was the Def Leppard Rock and Roll Hall of Fame performance, and this was one I was also very excited about getting because I love Def Leppard, but you know what I love more than Def Leppard? Queen, and <laughs> Brian May plays with Def Leppard, and you also have Ian Hunter on this who was in Mott the Hoople and then had a solo project. Um, which I haven't really talked about Mott the Hoople, but I've just kind of gotten into them. I'm going to share more about it in an upcoming video because I picked up a couple of their records. But I was really, really excited to get this one, especially since I'm kind of getting into Ian Hunter uh, and I'm a huge Queen fan. But this has Hysteria, Rock of Ages, Photograph, Pour Some Sugar on Me, and then it has All the Young Dudes, which is a Mott the Hoople song, which is, I mean, super cool. The last thing I picked up was the Black Keys Let's Rock uh, 45 RPM. RPM. Um, I have not opened it, but it came out easy. Ooh. It came out really easy. That's really cool though. Ooh, that's shiny. They had teased this prior to this uh, on, like on their Instagram. Actually, I don't think that cover's shiny too. I don't think it necessarily was on their Instagram. I think it may have been on Easy Guy Sounds Instagram. But either way, uh, I do love this album. I got the limited edition uh, early release, uh, kind of like a light, almost white pink version. Uh, my favorite track off of this album is Fire Walk with Me. Gatefold's extra shiny yeah, too. Gatefold. They went all out. Of course, Black Keys does not hold all back. All the holographic stuff. Uh, I got the 5,366. And then, like I said, we went and got our donuts. 
and went back inside again for some stuff that we had on hold and just browsed through the records. So this is still at Mellow Max, by the way. Um, he did his own record store day bags, and this is like the design he did. And we actually, you know, got one of these whenever we went back in and bought more stuff. Culture Walls, uh, Western Swing and Waltzes, and other punchy songs. Uh, I was going to pre order this because I do like Coulter and Wall's uh, music quite a lot, but I decided that since uh, the record store was going to get an exclusive version itself, I thought I'd just wait and get it there. Um, I am excited about this. I haven't heard um, many of the singles off of this, mainly because I just wanted to listen to the album uh, in full, but I did notice that uh, Marty Robinson's Big Iron is on here, and I love Coulter's version. Um, that I've heard on YouTube. I don't know if it's necessarily an official video, but it's him in concert singing it. And the Indie Exclusive comes on a very, almost like a white, clear, plastic clear, transparent, clear vinyl. All right, and then I ended up, this is kind of a beat up copy, but this is the one time I've seen this record and I've wanted to add it to my collection for a while. It is uh, Agents of Fortune by Blue Oyster Cult. I'm not a huge Blue Oyster Cult fan, but this has some of their classics on here and I just have it. And it's got some water damage on it, but uh, it's not too awful. And I mean, it was like three bucks. The most popular on this one is Don't Fear the Reaper. And uh, that's, you know, one of the only Blue Oyster Cult songs I know because I'm not a huge Blue blue Oyster Cult fan, but anyway, I wanted to pick that up and put it in my collection so I could get to know a little bit more from them. The thing I picked up was Johnny Cash, the rough cut king of country music. Um, it's on Sun Records label, and this one it still has the shrink wrap around it. This record I picked up because of Beth at B-Sides, and um... If you guys have not been to Beth's channel, I will leave a link below. But this is Give Us a Wink by Sweet. And this album art is really cool. The inner sleeve here, if you move it up, it's got like different eyes that come out. Yeah. Uh, you kind of get the gist. And Sweet is known for Ballroom Blitz and Fox on the Run. Neither of those songs are on this album, but Beth mentioned it and... I kind of want to get to know more by Sweet because I really enjoy both of those songs. And Beth said it was something she thought I would like, just based on us kind of knowing each other's music tastes from watching these videos and stuff. And uh, I seen it and I couldn't pass it up. I was like, you know what? We're going to get it. We're going to do it. We're going to listen to it. The next thing I picked up was Leonard Skinner's Give Me Back My Bullets. Uh, that, that is the title track and probably the biggest song on this album. But if you like Leonard Skinner, you can't really go wrong with this album. It is a little bit beat up. Looks like it's been around a little while. That's okay. And then I also picked this record up because everyone here in the VC raves about this record and Jared is a fan of this band and I feel like I need more of their discography in my collection. It is Master of Reality by Black Sabbath. Now this one, the cover is kind of beat up, but I mean, I don't really care. Um, but the cover, I mean, it's not too, too terrible, but the record... You know, it looks fine. Um, and this was about like 13 bucks, which is the cheapest I've ever seen this record go. Usually it's like 20-ish bucks, and that always like makes me stray away from buying it because I'm not a huge Black Sabbath fan. Um, like I said, I kind of know the hits. I honestly don't know any of the songs on here by name. I've probably heard them because he listens to Sabbath in the car. Uh, but yeah, I was really excited to see this, and I was like, you know what? 12 bucks, 13 bucks, can't pass it up. The last thing I picked up at the record store was Jazz by Queen. Uh, it's got, you know, your favorite bicycle race. Uh, Fat, Fat Bottom, Bottom Girls. Girls. Uh, Dreamers Ball, Fun It, Don't Stop Me Now. Mm. Uh, Mustafa is a great track. Guys, I'm such a huge Queen fan. I'm so glad Jared is building up his Queen collection. I love this whole album. It is one of my favorite. We know, I say that about all of their albums, though, but one of my faves. After that, we ended up going to The Great Escape, and I was I had gotten everything I had wanted off of my list, but I was looking for some stuff for a few friends, and 
Gravescape didn't have either of those things. And so then we went to a store called Hard Copies. It's in the mall. It used to be in Owensboro. And um, I was just like, you know, trying to get their albums that they wanted. Emma had actually been looking for this album in particular. And she ended up getting it. And I thought, you know what, while I'm here picking up an album for someone else and they have it, I'm going to get it because Emma really made me want to check this out. And I'm probably not going to say this right, but this is Get Off My Case by Joseph, Josephus. Probably saying it wrong. Uh, but she said that this is a great psych record. And I don't know a whole lot about psych. So... I was really excited to see this. This was like really limited. I think this was like five or six hundred copies. Not very many of these, but um, I had told Emma I knew for sure that one of our stores had a copy of this, so if she didn't, I would get it for her. And she ended up getting a copy, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to snatch it for myself. Emma's made it sound so enticing, so I picked it up. That's what we got this record store day. I had kind of debated on doing one big video with all of the drop dates because there's three you know another one in September and then another in October uh, but I thought you know what I ramble a lot so let's just make it a separate video so here it is I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, if you did don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video bye